Hello, PowerViews. Today I'm going to run through some optimization opportunities for you on your website uh, that's going to use uh, customer data and contacts to serve personalized experiences. So at uh, top of the funnel, uh, what you're really going to want to do is personalize the entire experience. That's messaging, value proposition, and next best action based on the customer context. So this is much more than just button colors. This is using the available data, whether it's first party, third party, to deliver personalized and optimized experiences. So you can see on the right side, we've got your one size fits all homepage. And while it um, speaks to every customer, it's not personalized to the context of who they are, why they're on the site, and what they might be interested in. So here's an example. You have a number of customer industries. So you'd see better conversions if you use the context as to what um, actual industry a customer is in to then change your homepage. So you see you have on the right side, a potential retail customer. So instead of this uh, one size fits all message, you're gonna personalize it for retail customers. Here, uh, you have a customer that's potentially inter interested in enterprise pricing. So the key here is you're gonna change the experience depending on if a customer is uh, from an enterprise account or uh, just an SMB who might be interested in standard. Going further along the funnel for how you can optimize, uh, there's engaged customers. These are people who have showed some commercial intent. Uh, say they've uh, downloaded content, they've uh, raised their hand in some way, and here you're going to want to uh, have them take the next best action, which is starting a free trial or talking to sales. So let's see how we can push them across that line. So if someone has expressed interest in Celeratings, which is uh, one of your offerings, what you can do is personalize the homepage for that particular product. And you're going to know that uh, potentially based on sales conversations, so we'll pull that out of Salesforce, or it's just that they've clicked on the seller uh, page on your site. So we're going to personalize and drive customers to that specific page and a demo that relates to seller ratings. Further along the funnel, we've got uh, those who have uh, strong commercial intent. So they want to talk to sales. Uh, and here, it's about really championing, uh, sorry, expanding the champions in the account and alleviating concerns about value and cost, which is going to, in turn, push people uh, to get to sales and ultimately purchase. So one thing that you can do to help people get along across the line is highlight the specific features that they might be interested in. So if your sales team knows that they uh, want AP, a potential customer wants API integrations, you're going to highlight that feature. So right now it's, it's at the bottom of the pricing page. You're going to pull that up, maybe even mention the specific uh, integrations that a particular account is interested in. And the big one is content. So you have a number of great content pieces uh, from uh, ebooks to your webinars. So depending on where a customer is in their buyer's journey, you're going to show that particular piece of content. So for example, uh, in the middle bottom, you've got snapshot for e-commerce. This is more of a above the line, um, top of funnel piece of content you're going to show that to someone that's at the top of the funnel where potentially the anatomy of a helpful review might be more intended for someone that's further along the funnel and wants to actually know how they can leverage your product to uh, increase their customer engagement. So it's really about aligning product, uh, sorry, content to uh, the customer and where they are in their purchase journey. Another big piece of optimization is the post sale. So these are candidates for expansion referrals, and they really need advice, uh, advanced services, and support uh, to engage and potentially renew. So 
buried at the bottom of your site, you have a page for technical questions. What we would recommend is as someone uh, is potentially buying your software, you're going to emphasize the ability for you guys to answer questions. So you'd remove the get demo page and you'd replace that with uh, ask a question or potentially content that is related to uh, questions that you can answer for them. Uh, this is not an example of power reviews. Obviously, this is from Salesforce, but what you're seeing here is that the website itself changes depending on if someone is visiting the site or if they're existing customers. This is something that you guys would find value in on power reviews. So instead of uh, having basic overview, basic content, you're potentially going to want to show them a webinar that gives tips on how they can best use power reviews. It's all about personalizing that experience to where they are in the customer journey. Uh, those are some examples for power reviews. Hopefully that opens your mind to different ways that Funnel MB can optimize your website and really uh, highlights the differences between a optimization platform like Funnel MB and simple A-B testing like a optimizer. Thank you so much for watching.